I know the car's broken. Not a great start to the morning, but Cam reckons it should be a relatively easy fix, so fingers crossed. Righto, so this episode we've left Cape Levee and we've done one night in Derby. Then we did two nights on the Gib at Winjana Gorge. It's there. And then we did another two nights at yes. Silent Grove. It's one yeah. Backtracking a little bit, we're doing a little shop in Broome and uh, I've got to pick up that spare drive shaft from Repco and then we're heading to Derby uh, for one night just to empty the dunny and fill the water tanks and get a, get some fuel and a few more things and then we're on to the Gibb River Road. And you've been very helpful, are not you? I have cupcakes. You're going to have cupcakes. Awesome. So Tish just putting everything away. It's easier to just do it here, get it all in the proper boxes and containers. Repco broom with the goods. New entire CV shaft, aftermarket one unfortunately, it's all I could get up here. Some degreaser, a tarp, some uh, bearing grease and some diff oil. And hopefully I've got all the tools I need to do it. But what we're gonna do is wait, I think, and see how it goes, because we're in full drive on the way out and it was quiet, made no noise. So um, I'm gonna hang on to it as a spare. I couldn't get anyone to fit it in broom anyway, so I was going to be doing it myself. So I'll just hold off until it breaks because it hasn't actually gone yet. Anywho, on to Derby. So we're about 60 k's away from Derby and we're just um, on the main highway and we're crossing over quite a few little bridges and you can see the, the creeks um, down below. Anyway, I'm looking down below and I, we just saw our first um, freshwater crocodile. It's only a little one, but he was in the middle of the creek. Cam didn't see him, but. We're in crop country now, 
all of a sudden it feels like we're, we're like in the proper Kimberley, eh? Like there's boat trees and termite mounds everywhere. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Kimberley entrance caravan park. Tiff's just in reception now, sorting out a place for us. And uh, Chloe's really enjoyed the trip. So we've just pulled into Kimberley Entrance Caravan Park. Uh, $48 a night, unpowered. Uh, pretty expensive, but it's the only caravan park in Derby, so you don't have many options here. Uh, we thought we'd just do one night here, just to do some washing, fill up the water tanks, and um, empty the toilet before we hit the gib tomorrow. Mm, what are you guys doing? What are we making? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Chloe picked the sprinkles for the top. <laughs> Pink ones with sprinkles. Yep. I, I want them all. Yeah. You want them all. I don't know if this is new, but it's really delicious. Coke Zero. No, Pepsi Max. Mango flavor. Yum. Is that a Kimberly special or is that available everywhere? Looking good, Chloe? This one. Mm -hmm. I held this one. Right. Oh, there's a little bit in there. Yeah, no, it's hard not to spill it. So we're going to cook them in the Travel Buddy oven. How long they take? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything takes a bit longer, like nearly double the time in the Travel Buddy. I preheated it. Can you wait? Two minutes? Is it going to be two minutes? Two might, minutes, might be Daddy. a bit longer. I preheated the oven while we're driving. Uh, otherwise it takes ages to get up to temperature. I can't remember if we told you, but Cam fixed the washing machine. Of course. So. Of course he did. Daddy's a really good fixer, isn't he? Cupcakes are done. Yeah. What's yeah. next? What are we doing now? The camera. Pink. Is that your favourite colour? Yeah. Pink is my favourite colour and blue is Daddy's favourite colour. Mum said, look, it's green. <laughs> that one's a bit funny. Look at my cupcake. I got her all day. Mm -mm. So that one's too funny. Couple more stickers posted off, and uh, we're gonna go hit the gib. But first things first, we're gonna go have a look at the Boab Prism Tree and the world's longest cattle trough. No, Australia's longest. Australia's longest. Yeah. So that was Australia's longest cattle trough, which is 140 foot long. Interesting fact. So back in the late 1800s, white settlers used to go into the bush and kidnap young Aboriginal men, chain them up and take them from out in the bush back to the coast to use them in the pearling industry. And the prison boab was actually used as like an overnight spot to hold them. Um, while they were moving them. All right, so we've hit the gib. 660 k's long and it runs from Derby to Kununurra. It used to be a formal cattle route. What were you saying? Not as wild as it once was. No, it used, it, yeah, it used to be hard country, but um, it's still rough roads, but there's pubs and restaurants and station stays and all sorts out here. Um, now it's a little bit of a grain nomad, travellers and a pilgrimage. But it's definitely on the bucket list day, so yeah. we're stoked. Um, there is lots closed this year as well, just due to COVID. Um, Home Valley, El Questro, Allen Bray, a lot of the ones towards the west side are all shut. So we'll do what we can do and see what we can see. Uh, we're not too worried. We'll just make the most of what we can. It means we can do it again. <laughs> I'm planning a trip too already. <laughs> uh, our first two nights are at Winjana Gorge and from there we can explore Tunnel Creek. Uh -huh. Winjana Campground's a ripper. So, there's the big 
gorge behind us. Bit of grass. There's um, toilet block just here behind the bushes. We've nestled ourselves underneath the trees here. Got a picnic table there. Fire rings dotted around the place. And there's also um, taps dotted around the place. Dunnies everywhere, more fire rings. 34 bucks a night, that's for two adults. And um, you still gotta drive to the gorge, don't you, Winjana? Yeah, it's just down there. Oh, walk. you can walk, all right. And what's the other one we're doing? Tunnel Creek. Yeah, so we'll do Winjana Gorge today, after some lunch. And then we'll do Tunnel Creek tomorrow, so we're here for two nights. Oh yeah, this is a great little spot. The only thing about um, the Gib is there's no uh, black water dumps, you can't dump your sewerage along the way so if you're out here for a couple of weeks or whatever um you're better off using these they've got toilet blocks everywhere but you're better off using them because if you use the one in your caravan you can't dump it but yeah i bet this place looks different in a normal season when it's not COVID 19. i bet it gets packed you can fit a heap of people in here so tip was saying they're actually shower blocks and there's solar hot water in there and lights for night time. I'm gonna go for a walk down to the um, river and see some crocs hopefully. It's called Termite Mound. Walk through. How cool is that? There's bats right here on the wall. Oh yeah. Crocodiles. Crocodiles. It's not biting me. Crocodiles. Down there. Yeah. There's two down here. There you go. Yeah. He saw you. Really cool place, so. Eh? Anyone? It's not from Australia that's wondering. These are freshwater Mom, crocodiles. You're my best friend, dog. Or, or Johnson Crocs. So they're, um, they'll still buy you, but they're nowhere near oh, as dangerous. Sorry. A lot of people will swim, swim with them. Not like a, a salty. No, so they're only, they're only babies. But they say, they say to keep at least five meters away from them um, and like not put yourself between them and the water. So. They've got an escape route. But they'll only they'll only nip you like defensively. They're not territorial like a saltwater is that'll charge you. Especially gotten quite a lot busier now. So I've just got little chicken thighs there. Pound them flat. Bit of egg wash. and some panko crumbs. And then straighten some oil. There we go, it's daddy's version of katsu chicken. Um, kupi, Japanese mayonnaise, you'd have seen me eating that stuff, that's the best. I like kupis. And this, like is, this is the sauce I found the other day. Tonkatsu sauce for dipping. So that's pretty much tastes the same as the stuff when you get a um, chicken katsu bento box. <laughs> oh, this is going to be dangerous, eh? I know, I really eat it all the time. Oh, I like that sauce. Yeah, it's Oh, he's going to poo on your chair. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, he just, did he do that as I said that? Yes. Wow. Gross. It's like I made him poo on your chair. That was your chair, by the way, not mine. No. We got matching chairs, but whenever something bad happens to them, it's the other person's chair. Make them away downtown. Well, that's just to the entrance. Is that all we're doing? 2K, or oh, there's a 2K one. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice him. You see the crocodile claw? Yeah, just, there. just on the rock, just here. Yeah. On the rock. He's alive, isn't he? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it keeps going after this section, I think. Yeah, you can be close, it doesn't matter. I don't think there's any, I can't see any in there, the water's pretty clear, buddy. There'd be a few in here. Tiff's just spotted this croc cruising along in the dark, so you can just see the reflection of his eyes. Can you see him, Clyde? You can't see him on this camera, right, Tiff? No. Oh, I wouldn't take I wouldn't take your light off him because you might just quickly duck around here. <laughs> you want me to carry you, Clyde? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, your mum's spooked. My mum's spooked. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's so deep. Oh, God. No, I think you're going straight into the crocodile den. Oh, my God. Mommy. Crocodiles really like about two foot of water, apparently. I'm going behind you, babe, because you'll have spooked anything. Oh, all right, Mommy. Thanks, Chloe. You're not scared, are you? Nah, because your daddy's holding you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's still there. Well, that could be another one. He likes that little waterfall. Close falling asleep in the car. But um, just on the way out of Tunnel Creek, there's some... Uh, is it a police station? Yeah, ruins the police station. Yeah. I don't want you touching the walls because all the mortars starting to rot out or whatever. Mm. That was hardly worth getting out of the car for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. This would be a remote posting, eh?
and that's why you've got to secure the rubbish bins. He's very tame. a dingo or something. We're off to Silent Grove campground tonight and we're going to do two nights there. Yeah. Yep. And from there we can explore Bell's Gorge as well. This is the mob who tuned my car, Reaper, in Maddington. They're really good. Hey, we follow them, don't we? The wandering willows. Yeah, pretty sure we do. Oh, that's um, that's ant sticker, babe. Oh yeah. West side window tinting. They tint our cars too. They're really good. Oh, good. Gorgeous. This is rubbish. It is rubbish. What do we do with rubbish? No throwing rubbish on the ground. No. Where do we put it? Good job. Come on, let's go. Looks nothing like Queen Victoria. It just looks like a nose hanging out of a rock. Two blown out thongs just for that water crossing. <laughs> Hope it was worth it. This is Silent Grove campground. Got a really good little spot here. Solar showers, toilets just there. There's a water tap there with that glass having a drink. And uh, we're camping in front of this big boab tree. Got a good shady little spot. Pandanas, palms and stuff around us. Picnic table. Perfect. Another deep or site. Tiff booked this one online. You can pay when you get here if you want to. And uh, this is the closest campsite to Bell Gorge. So yeah, beautiful, eh? Cracking spot. Got to make a bit of uh, onion loaf for a late Arvo snack. So I've got the travel ready preheated to full whack. I'm cooking down a couple of onions, two onions in there with a bit of oil, brown them off. And we'll whack in three cups of self-raising flour. One, two, three. And a can of the best beer. With my bread loaf tin, I'm going to spray it with oil and then dust it with flour as well. Right, once they're cooked off nicely, nicely browned, we can bang them into the dough. Mix that up. Good. Yeah, buddy. The bread, it's going to take a while, I reckon an hour and a half or something, Chloe. Could I have a look at it? Yeah. Look good? <laughs> Not no, yet. No. You will. Righto, bang that in your floured loaf pan. Oh. 
bit of milk, egg, or um, oil on top. And that's it, we'll bang that in the travel buddy. I'm just going to check it periodically with a, um, a knife through the guts of it and make sure it comes out clean like you would with a cake. This is a couple hundred meters from our campsite. There's a creek that runs through here, but you can't swim in it because it's the water that feeds. Um, that we're drinking. Yeah, that we're drinking and sharing from. Any good? You need tea bags. This is an old tea bag. No. It's an old tea bag. Good little way for it to cool off. Are you in the pool, Chloe? Huh? What are you in? In the bathtub. In the, in the bathtub. bathtub. <laughs> So 10 k's out of camp, we're just doing a little drive to Bell Gorge. You can walk there, but 10 k's, so we're driving. That's pretty cool. Yeah.